You want to wrap, do about six or seven wraps. And do this loose starting off with. Right now, right now. Six or seven wraps. This is called a stopper knot. I use this back when I've done line, used to do line work. This is what I come up with. It cinches up and it tightens up almost like a, a similar knot that's called a grapevine. Okay. All right. You need to have at least a four or five foot tail of extra rope after your knot. Okay. So you got to back that knot up. Okay. You put more on there or less. Six or seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And that's seven right there. For dozens, you roll the rope. Okay. What your knot does, you go ahead, once you got your wrapped on there, you go ahead and do the cinch in your cell. Cinch it up. You pull your lead. Yep. Pull your lead up, back towards your pull. Toward the pull, yep. Pull your pull, and then you tag. You pull it over. You pull a, a half back there. All this does is hold. Okay. Put a half up against. Yep. You break your, your uh, stopper knot. Stopper stop knot. One. Then the other. Right there. Now, you see how this comes across diagonal? Yes, sir. And you back up by two halves. These halves don't cinch on the wire whatsoever. All these halves do is hold your stopper knot. Stopper knot. In order to get your slack pulled in toward the tugger, you have your lead line on your tugger. That pulls, and this cinches it, and this will pull onto your stopper. This is your stopper knot. This will pull, and what this does, it evenly cinches up. This will twist around, and this, will, this knot will tighten up just like that. As this pulls around, yep. it will tighten run your, your stopper knot up. What it's doing is tightening up evenly around all of your conductors, yep. just like that. You go ahead, no matter how much you pull, it will not affect. You just go ahead and pull on that. See what it's doing? Yep. Pull on it. A couple of you pull. A couple of you pull. And you hold that. And this is tightening up. That's what it does. That's what it's developed okay. for. It tightens up on all of your conductors at one time, no matter how many you've got. And it cinches those all together. All together. All right. Now, when you get, let's say you need a bunch, so you're in the middle of a pull, and you've got to keep continuously pulling slack. You go ahead and let off your tugger. You take your knot, bring it through your halves right there, and you twist it. Loose. Loose it up there, right there. And then all you do is slide your stopper knot up on your wire, get you another bite, right, re yep. see it tighten it up, and pull again. Do that, and it tightens up again. Once you pull your, your length, whatever uh, you know, extra that you need, you go ahead and come off your tugger again. Same thing, it's re repeating one, loosen it up, slide it on up. This knot is made to tighten up in one direction and loosen up and pull in the it other direction. Off. Okay. So that is your knot. And that's, once again, it's done with only two halves. One half a hold the world. Two halves to hold the moon. <laughs> That's the way my uncle taught me. On any knot, come across the half.
catching your your lead. Put it all the way back up to the stopper. Do a second one. Cinch that up tight. Pull it. Start over. And it tightens up. Everything's tightening up. See how yep. tight this yep. pulls everything? Pulls everything yep. Now you can't pull that rope across that across south that wire side, yeah. or anything. Even with soap on a on the wire, this knot tightens up so even and everything, it won't you it won't let your rope slide on the soap. That's slip wire too. And this is south yeah, wire. South wire. Kendall, thanks so much. You're welcome. Appreciate sir. it.